What's up, YouTube? Poke Primer here. Primer ready to deliver you episode number nine of our Pokemon XG Next Gen Let's Play here on the channel. This XD ROM hack has been absolutely insane so far, and uh, it, I can only imagine how much crazier it's going to get. But for uh, before we get into anything, let's uh, let's quickly go over what has happened so far. So we saved Professor Crane, who is down here in the bottom of the screen there. The nice brown hair. We saved him from the Cypher uh, Shadow Pokemon Research Lab. Uh, and then we took on Cypher Admin Lavrina and her team of fairy types. And uh, now we made it back here and the purification chamber is fixed. Or is ready to go. So we can actually purify our Pokemon without lag. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, as we start getting more like regular non-Shadow Pokemon, uh, it'll be much better. We can start purifying Mons like, while we're off doing other things. But um... Now uh, we can go over our team, a uh, quick team recap. First off, we have our Shadow Bagon here, Hasty Nature with the Draco Plate, uh, getting pretty fucking close with his Intimidate ability. Uh, we have Shadow Fang, T Shadow Tease, Hold Back, and Dragon Breath. Then we have Megatron, our Shiny Metang with the Naughty Nature. Um, where I can Levitate for its ability, uh, Hold Back, Iron Head, Bullet Punch, and Zen Headbutt. We have our hardy nature, Titania, the Psychic Fairy, Curlia, with Pixelate for its ability, Thunder Wave, Dazzling Gleam, Calm Mind, and Psy Beam. We have Swaglow, our Swellow, with its Impish Nature, uh, level 22, um, with Guts for its ability, with Extreme Speed, Double Team, Acrobatics, and U-Turn. Then we have our newly purified Geico, the Trico, uh, hardy nature, with Lightning Round for its ability, Dragon Breath, Giga Drain, Substitute, and HP Fire. And last but not least, we have Murdoge, our Vaporeon, Rash Nature with uh, Storm Drain for its ability, uh, Water Pulse, Hyper Voice, Protect, and Icy Wind. So, um, I honestly don't know what we're supposed to do next, um, but we're just going to start heading out, I guess, and he's going to tell us otherwise. Oh, speaking of Cypher, Lily, have you made any progress with that data ROM we brought back from Cypher's lab? Oh, yes, I've asked Dex to analyze the context of that SD card. Um, it should be ready soon. Remember, could you go upstairs and ask Dex, Dex how he's doing? Dex is the man in the room next to the director's office, remember? He was compiling the basic data. Big Brother's tired, so Jovi will go. Oh, Jovi, it's okay. This is for work. She fucking went anyway. What a little bitch. Fuck. I hate this little fucking bitch. I hate her. <laughs> Seeing Jovi and her balance energy makes me realize I'm back home. Anyway, I wonder what's on that SD card. Oh, Jovi, there's no stopping you. Please, Farmer, go ask Dex how he's doing in his office upstairs. Yeah, I can do that. Um, probably not now. Not quite yet. But once we get up closer to level 25, I think I'm going to start going to... Mount Battle to do some grinding uh, off screen, more than likely, but um, we'll see how that goes. Oh, isn't Dex the man who's always fooling around with his computer here? This is strange. Jovi wonders where he went. Well, who knows? Um, and I'm actually thinking about uh, if I do go to Mount Battle off screen, I'll probably actually se set it up to stream that on Twitch. Uh, because it would be kind of like streaming my grinding and also, um, just having some fun. Just fucking around with, uh, fucking around with this awesome-ass game, which is also really fun. Uh, but we're gonna go find this dude. Aha! Well, I'm sorry, Professor, I couldn't decipher it. Huh? Oh, it's you, Primer. You scared me half to death. That SD card is heavily protected like a bank vault. It would take a seriously talented guy to break through and get at the contents. A seriously talented guy, you say? Well, <laughs> Professor, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> it can't be helped. And if it's a seriously talented guy we need, well, I think I may have a solution. Who would that person be? Primer, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but can you deliver the SD card to ONBS in Pyrite Town? Dex, hand the SD card to Primer, please. Oh, right away. Yeet. ONBS is known as a TV network, but they're much more than that. 
people that later founded OMBS, OMS, OMBS. I'm going to call it that. Um, were actually instrumental in breaking Cypher's conspiracy five years ago. Uh, please deliver that SD card to Net at ONBS. He is the right-hand man to SEC, ONBS's leader. I'm confident that he will be able to get the contents of that SD card. Uh, Pyrite is past a gate. It's quite far, so be careful when you're traveling out that way. Well, if you insist, um, that's hype because I love Pyrite Town. It has one of my favorite soundtracks in the game. So let's fucking get it, dude. I'm so hyped. Oh no, they're it's lagging here. No. No. Mary, wait, wait for me. <sighs> Mary, wait, wait for me. A poor cameraman. There goes Mary, tearing off like a tornado as usual. There goes one busy girl. Huh? What's up with you, kid? Why are you giving me the eyes like that? Do you know who I am? I'm Kale. They call me the Gatekeeper of Pyrite. Heh <laughs> that smoldering look says you're raring to challenge me. If it's a battle you want, I'm here. Uh, okay. Um, don't be scary. Uh, don't have scary, crazy levels, please. That'd be appreciated. Don't do that. Houndour and Murkrow. Let's see what levels these are, because I am terrified. Also going to have to swap Megatron out, because those are dark types. <laughs> Level 23. Okay, so that's not bad. Houndour has Intimidate? That's cool. So they gave like every dog-like Pokemon Intimidate. That's cool. So I'm going to actually go out into Titania, because... Actually, no. Bagon, I'm going to Shadow Fang the Houndour with. And I'm going to switch out to Titania with Megatron. Yeet. So he's going to go for Snarl. Of course, he goes for Snarl on the turn that I switch out into a special attacker. Of course. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> That's my luck. Um... That really sucks, actually. He's gonna go for Air Slash with the Murkrow. On to Begon. That... Wow. Okay, that just straight killed. Um, that's not good. That's upsetting, because I really just want to purify that thing. Um, so we're gonna go out into Murdoge, because Murdoge still needs to get some more levels. Murdoge is still, you know, the lowest level, one of the lowest levels of our party, so we're, we're out here with our two strongest. Uh, we're going to Water Pulse the Hound Hour, and we're going to Dazzling Gleam. It's going to go for a Bite onto Murdoge. That's not a problem at all. Uh, we did Intimidate it, so that's great. Uh, he's going to go for an Air Slash onto... Mur Doubling into Murdoge. Why? Murdoge is going to get the Water Pulse off. Beautiful. And that should just Oko the Hound Hour. Awesome. Hopefully he has another dark type behind this so that we can um, really get a lot out of this Dazzling Gleam. But we're just going to be a single target now, which is dope. Oh, wow, that does nothing. That minus one really hurts us. Sneasel. Yay. So I'm going to Hyper Voice and Dazzling Gleam. We're gonna hit everybody all the time. Ow, what the fuck? That did a lot. And is he gonna double into Murdoge again? Why? He keeps doubling into that slot, that specific slot. Why is that slot so deadly to you? Dazzling Gleam once again. 
Wow, that did nothing to Sneasel. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Um. This game is harder than I expected it to be, to be honest. Um, we're gonna go to Swaglow here. And we are going to pray that he doesn't have... Well, we're gonna extreme speed the Sneasel and then Dazzling Gleam with the Curlia. I think that will be our best possible play. So, yeet. Yeet that in the ass. Uh, Dazzling Gleam should kill both. Uh, is he going to double into Swallow? Yes, he is. Oh my god, why? Why is this happening? Why? Why? Are you, are you are you doubling into Swallow again? Why? He just keeps doubling into the same slot. What the hell? That's so evil. Alright, we're gonna Dazzling Gleam and fuck up this Sneasel. Yeet. And fuck up that Murkrow. Yeet. Just yeeted on his face. Yeet. Awesomeness. Oh, that's annoying as fuck, man. Nuzzleaf. Ugh. So I'm going to U-turn the Nuzzleaf and Dazzling Gleam. He's going to fake out probably just to kill my Swallow. Yep. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? My team just got fisted by fucking Rogue Kale. I hate myself. God damn it. Oh, wow, that did way more damage. I mean, yeah, it's single target, but Jesus. All right, so we're going to go on to Geico because I want to get the experience to level him up. Because I want a Revile. So we're going to HP Fire and Dazzling Gleam. And HP Fire will go first. Yeet. Awesome. So Nuzleaf drops, and hopefully that gives us enough experience to level up. Oh, come on! Oh, man, that hurts. Hey kid, I have to hand it to you. You have to be good to beat Kale, Pyrite's gatekeeper. Um, yeah, sure. Um, so before I do anything else, oh, um. All right then, what have we here? Well, if it isn't Trudley and Foley, uh, what do you think you're up to? What are we up to? You've got it all wrong. We're here to do some shopping, that's all. Now don't you lie to me, I know about the likes of you. You're up to no good, aren't you? Cut us some slack, Officer Johnson, sir. We've had a change of heart. We've somewhere off our criminal ways. Yes, sir. No, no, no. That doesn't wash with me. No, sir, it doesn't. I won't have you lot walking around the streets as if you owned the place. Just pop us oaf. Fully, the man won't listen to reason. Let's get out of here. I'm just going to walk clean past him. I wonder if whoever ROM hacked this changed the levels of, um, what do call it? I wonder if they changed the levels of this Coliseum, because originally it was level 20s, which is a fantastic grinding spot, but, um, could also just be level, um, 30s now, I think. I mean, we'll have to find out at some point, right? But, uh, what I like about this place is, I'm actually gonna, you know, follow through and do the story stuff first. My name is Rowan, I'm warming up right now, could I get you to clear the way? Um, dog, what? Okay, whatever. Bruh. One great ball. What the fuck? You're running all the way clear that way. You're way the fuck past me, dude. 
Fucking stupid bitch. I hate people. I hate people. Even virtual people. But we are going to go straight to the OMBS building. Because we... This is our job. Welcome to OMBS. All visitors are free to wander the OMBS building and see our network in operation. My name is Meg, and I'm the official guide. Glad to meet you. Shroomish. All right. This Shroomish is my friend. Isn't it cute? We broadcast TV signals all across the Ori region. I hope you'll take the time to see how we work. Dope. Little kid. Don't care. Okay, so this is just like a meeting room. News reports from all over like we always do. Our reporters are blah, 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 blah. Don't care. Okay. Oh, Razzle and Dazzle. Okay. Da, da. Hi, welcome to OMBS. The name's Sec. I'm supposed to be in charge here. Glad to meet you. Started by kids five years ago during the shadow incident, a tiny network has grown into this today. I operate this place with my partner, Net. We're convinced that reporting the unvarnished truth will be for the good of peace and justice. Anyways, did you want something from me? Pass on Professor Crane's message to Sec. You're kidding! Cypher was using its desert lab again? Okay, understood. You should take that SD card and show it to Net right away. I'm sure he can decipher whatever information is stored on that SD card. I'm sure he can. It's locked. Dope. Fucking hell. I forgot about this, but now we have this little girl following us around. Okay. Ooh, live news broadcast. In person. Dope. We bring you a special news bulletin. Professor Crane, the abducted head of the Pokemon HQ lab, has been safely res rescued. Professor Crane had been held captive in Cypher's desert research facility, which was widely believed to have been abandoned. Reports say that Professor Crane was rescued by a lone team. This incident is evidence that Cypher has returned after apparently being crushed five years ago. The authorities fear that Cypher's return could result in more serious incidents. Citizens are urged to be vigilant and cautious. Wow, we literally just got here and they reported that story. That's amazing. So... I guess we go further upstairs. Come on, kid. You little shit getting lost in this fucking building. Fucking loser. Yeet. I just want that fucking item crate. God damn it. I know we can get it later, but come on. Rude. Oh, hey. Well, this isn't going well. I have to go on the air soon, but my candy hasn't come back. Oh, mommy. Candy, sweetheart. Mommy. Oh, am I glad to see you. I was worried about you. You seem to just disappear. I'm sorry, Mommy. I went out of your room for just a minute, but then I couldn't find it again. That guy there brought me here. Oh, my. How very kind of you. Thank you. Sincerely, thank you. This is a small token of my appreciation. TM31. What is TM31? Normally, it's Brick Break. It is Psy Shock. Oh. Oh, bitch. Hold on. Hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeet. Dog. Fuck Psybeam. We are out here, dude. We are out here with Psyshock. Oh, damn. That's amazing. 
Oh, we can't get that item crate because he's gonna tell us. Oh, we can. Fucking bullshit. And that dude doesn't do anything for us, so we're gonna go up these stairs. This used to be Mirror Beast Cave. Nice and dope. I've been told by Ned to not allow anyone through. He's working right now. Huh? You came from the Pokemon HQ lab, but I still can't let you through. I'll get in trouble if I do. Kevin, do we have a visitor? Oh, Ned. This person here says he's come calling from the Pokemon HQ lab. Oh yes, I was expecting him. Please show him through. Oh, sure thing. I'll let him through. Now please, Ned's waiting for you inside. Well, you were a dick about it two seconds ago, Kevin. Motherfucking Kevin. Never trust a Kevin. Never trust a Kevin. Hello, I've been spec I've been expecting you. You're Primer, right? I'm Net. And this is a Bit. He's my friend and, a f and an invaluable partner. Pleased to meet you. We heard from Prof Professor Crane. Sounds like you pulled off a daring rescue. Yes, Bit, but now's not the time to waste chatting. Let's see the data Professor Crane called about. Handed the SD card to Net. I've deciphered something similar to this before. It brings back memories. Okay, I think it's going to take some time for me to check the contents of this SD card. Can you wait while I do that? Hey, Net, how's this for an idea? Our news team should be out visiting Duking at one of his Pokespots to file a story about wild Pokemon. Since he's got free time, why not have him go visit Duking as well? Hey, that's good. Good suggestion, Bit. Are you interested in wild Pokemon? It wouldn't hurt to go look, you know. Oh yes, may I have your PDA number? I'll contact you as soon as I find anything out. Give the PDA number to Net. Thank you. I'll try to decipher blah blah blah. Um, I think they said the rock pokey spot. Okay, so wild Pokemon. Dope. Maybe I will see some wild Pokemon. That'd be lit. I'm gonna actually try to catch wild Pokemon sometime every now and then on this, just in this playthrough, just because of the simple fact that um, it will help us um, get more Pokemon to throw in the PC to purify things. Like, we can, if we can fill up all nine slots, that'd be fantastic in the Purify Chamber. However, before we leave, uh, I'm going to show y'all the dual square. If it's still the same as last time. What? Hey, don't you think it's too tough for us to pull anything in this town? Our faces are too well known. Yeah, I hear you. If we don't hurry, the boss will get impatient and come looking for us himself. <laughs> we're okay on that score. I went and snuck a transmitter on the boss. You can tell where he is by checking this radar. So we can always be ready for him when he blows his top. I have to hand it to you, Foley. Way to go. Huh? Truly, looks like we got email. Gah, is it the boss? Hmm, let's see. You two, come back right now, it says. Oh, gosh darn it all. He sounds like he's fuming. He might dock us dinner again. We better scoot back. Shh. Oh, so much for this radar. It's not much use if the boss is going to page us by email. Oh, man, why do our lives have to be this tragic? Well. So... In Colosseum, this these guys all hatch out of Pokemon. But, uh... Yep, we are battling. Alright, awesome. So, we're going to battle all these people. Um, I'll show this one on screen, and then I will go off screen and do it. Okay, so they are level 25. Um, I don't like this. Uh, bullet Punch, that's rude. Don't you dare. That's rude. Wow, that did nothing to Machoke at all. Hopefully the Zenhaba kills. Oh, never mind, dodged. Ice Punch. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh boy. Well, Bagon, you are going to get swapped out, my boy. 
uh, into Murdoge. And we are going to Zen Headbutt once again with our Matang. I admit, though, this is going to be god tier experience um, for our guys, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, that does nothing. Awesome. We're going to drop that Machoke real quick. Decent experience, I'll take it. No complaints here. Goes for Scald, but we have the Storm Drain. That's amazing. Water Pulse on the Marsh Top to just get some damage off. Ooh, we got the confusion. That's am that's amazing. Ow. That oh, that was nice. A lot of experience. A lot of experience from these battles. Which is gonna be great. I feel like it intends on us um, doing these battles when we come back. From the Poké Stops, but at the same time, or po Poké Spots, at the same time, I feel like I should do them now, because, like, Kale was already high enough level to be really fucking us up, and I don't want to take any more chances. So, these levels are going to be real dope. Bubble Beam. 65 versus 60. I think I'm going to keep... Um, I think I'm going to keep Water Pulse because the Confusion can be really nice. Uh, yes, stop learning it. I think we're going to keep uh, Water Pulse for that reason. Even though it's like weaker, it still uh, has that secondary effect which could be very useful. I will also check out Pirate Coliseum off screen to see if it's a good grinding location. Um, but with that, I'm going to end off this episode here. In the next episode, we're going to go check out the Poke, uh, Poke spots and uh, see what we can do about wild Pokemon. So that'd be really, really dope. So um, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you have not already. And uh, until next time, I'm Poke Primer, signing off. Peace.